Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Hello, Marvel fans. Thank you so much for clicking on that button and finding this video. We hope you have a great day and enjoy what you're about to see. If you are new to this channel, please give us a like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so you never miss a new video. Today, I got to talk a little bit about She-Hulk. Look, when this was first announced, this was my most anticipated. The one that I was looking forward to the most of all the Disney Plus Marvel shows. I said, oh, I want to watch She-Hulk. I love the Hulk. Love She-Hulk. Quirky, funny, breaking the fourth wall, all that fun stuff. That's what She-Hulk has to offer. And then, of course, she's a lawyer who decides not to even revert back to her human form. Just wants to stay in the Hulk form. Love it. Couldn't wait for it. Then you have all of creatives. Very odd choices. You know, Rick and Morty writers. Things like that. Just like all this unusual. Stuff. But, you know, but it worked because she To me, it worked because She-Hulk is quirky on itself. So you don't want traditional storytellers. But then again, you look at the track record of the MCU. And you bring in the Russo brothers. And you bring in Peyton Reed. And you bring in these types of creatives that don't fit the bill of comic book films that you would think wouldn't fit the bill. But eventually they did. We love them, blah, blah, blah. We move on. Here we are. It appears now, however, that She-Hulk could be in trouble. We've heard about rewrites. We've heard about reshoots. And none of that really was all that concerning. But also Miss Marvel's coming out. Moon Knight is obviously just a couple days away. She-Hulk has no release date as of yet. We're hearing possibly Christmas 2022. But that looks to be in jeopardy right now. And this is coming from Jeff Snyder, insider Jeff Snyder, who says, that he's heard not good things behind the scenes. I've asked whether it's Moon Knight or Miss Marvel or Secret Invasion or any of these projects, and they're always like, it's She-Hulk. She-Hulk is the one that could be a problem. He goes on to say that I've heard it from people working on it, from people actually working on it, who are just like, we'll see. I think that's a lot of Marvel things, honestly, and you know, where it's just like, ugh, this could really be stupid. Like, we'll see. I'm sure people making Guardians of the Galaxy felt that way, right? And most of the time, Marvel pulls it out. But there will come a time when they won't. That's just the laws of movie making and the laws of numbers. Absolutely correct. At some point, Marvel is going to hit a dud. And whether or not that She-Hulk remains to be seen. And look, this person, this source, Snyder's source, brings up a very good point. Guardians of the Galaxy was zany. There was a talking raccoon, a tree that said, I am Groot. That's the only thing it said. That was a chance, a risk that they took, and they ended up pulling it off. She-Hulk, I don't know. The one thing we will say is we have gotten that teaser trailer for it. We're Guardians of the Galaxy. We also got a teaser very early on when they only shot a small percentage movie, but it seemed like Feige and Co. was really happy with what they got out of that one. She-Hulk, we haven't seen too much. We haven't heard too much. Sounds like, you know, the crew working on it isn't so convinced, and that's troubling to me. Usually, you can tell if you're making something special. Even if it doesn't work out, you kind of have this good feeling, this camaraderie, which you can't argue. James Gunn, when you look at James Gunn, everyone seems to love working with James Gunn. Same with Zack Snyder. These are people, actors and crew members love working with, and it's not saying like She-Hulk has that kind of vibe to it, which could spell, you know, failure and maybe there's a lot more reshoots and rewrites to come along but what do you guys think are you concerned with she-hulk are you concerned with the word out there that this might not be good that this could be marvel's first dud and do you anticipate seeing it in 2022 let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe but until next time may you be the master of your own universe